Thanks a lot, Winston, for that report. That's what's happening with the Anti-Corruption Commission and their investigations. The highlight, yes, being the ward, former ward councillor and many or others attaching names and faces to it, which the Anti-Corruption Commission say they will reveal in due course. Speaking of that, one of the names that some people did attach to this um, is uh, the former ward councillor, Coloma ward councillor, and who is now Member of Parliament for Chawama Constituency in Tasila Lungu, um, who did speak about this, the allegations that did go against her. And she clarified, saying, I have not purchased any bank or its assets. So she denied being investigated as well, saying she's not aware of any uh, investigations been instituted against her. She denied buying any bank, saying she does not have the capacity to do so. So that's one of the things that she said and further stated that she would take uh, legal action against those who are purporting this particular story, the online publications that are doing so and those uh, also part of the mainstream media are doing so. So that's what she did bring up in a Facebook post that she uh, put up yesterday. So interesting here when you talk about that because people are trying to see who could this be when you talk about a former ward councillor and people are also thinking of who has the capacity to do so which former ward councillor has the capacity to do so and um, you know people just coming up with their own suggestion of, of names I'm aware there's also another publication that came out I think earlier this year that was uh, had to do with, with, with issues surrounding this as well and, and well not really substantiated uh, per se, but with Tasina Lungu coming out now, the Member of Parliament coming out saying, look, she doesn't have the capacity to do so, and strongly denying being investigated. I guess questions remain for people out there on who it could be. Well, the Anti-Corruption Commission obviously is still carrying out the investigations, following up some of these things, but besides that particular one thing that uh, we have been talking about, the 300 million uh, kwacha being used to purchase um, infrastructure. We are also looking at uh, the COVID-19 situation here from the Ministry of Health, some uh, former senior government officials from there having to award contracts to some businessmen for personal protective equipment and it being done in an illegal manner. I mean, you're also looking at uh, what else is being done from institutions like the DMMU. I mean, we have seen from that report by Winston that uh, uh, land cruisers were being purchased using COVID-19 relief funds. This is something, obviously, that uh, they're looking into. And they would definitely be getting back in terms of uh, giving us feedback on what is being found. Well, that's the hope. Mm. That's the hope, because what people don't want to see is them going silent. What people don't want to see is some of these issues just dying a natural death. Mm. We're talking about 55 high public interest cases. People are hoping that a good number of these will be looked into and the update will come through, if possible, for all of them, including the others that have been reported from various, from various members of the public, or that's through the, the um, institutions such as the FIC, like we heard the TIZ, um, TIZ executive director is talking about there, or that's from the FIC, or is it from um, you know, other, other institutions that look into these particular matters and, and bringing this information up into the public eye.